Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Season 1 of Infinite Realms. It is episode 14 and I wish I got more episodes out, but that's fine. You know, we all, we all have lives, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series nonetheless. Um, it's been great, so I don't know if this will be a short one or a long one, we're about to find out. I have, uh, what's today's date? Today's day is technically the 22nd, or in America it would be only the 21st. So this server has about two days before we shut it off for a week. And we will uh, begin with Season 2 in 1.18 on December 1st for me, as I mentioned in the last episode. And we are going to finish things up. I have no idea what I'm going to do. This this episode has absolutely zero plan. Um, this is uh, maybe a, a hot minute since uh, since everything. Um, the I've actually decided to end the uh, well the competition. Uh, I think it was yesterday, I believe, in this time. So we've got five, four entries, that's fine, uh, no one's left stuff in here, and whoa, okay. Interesting. I mean, it, does, it doesn't really matter, I mean, uh, if, if, okay. So Yeti got two rounds, interesting. Um, but yeah, so Yeti with six penalties, final time 144, KB 126. Um, Lowy, 49 seconds, and Brad, 48. Ooh, I think Brad has won it. Brad has won. That's okay, I mean, it's the end of the series. Four people, but I'm pretty sure Noctify has also tried out the course as well, and maybe a couple of others that uh, didn't put a record in. But that's okay. This was all in good fun, honestly. I know that the rewards for the end of the season is kind of moot, if you think about it. What is any of this going to do if they've already finished their series, you know, like... Yeah. I do actually have a little bit of a plan for that, so stick around to the end of the episode for that. But, um, yeah, we're going to have a look around the server, I guess. I mean, look. I know there's a lot- I know that Yeti has done a guide, I believe, for his last episode. I think it's not out yet, though. That's okay. Um, and as of this, I still haven't rendered my last episode, but, uh, hopefully this should go out by just a day after or something, we'll see. Don't want to make any promises anymore, but, uh, we'll do our best. Um, let's have a look at our shops for the last time. Um, yeah, and let's see how they've done. There's nothing in there, of course, but, uh, we were the seller of rockets this season, as you can see. We've gotten quite a bit of diamonds out of the rockets business, and I think I might continue on with being the rockets. Because, uh, it's a constant supply of diamonds, if you think about it. it everyone flying around and stuff. Um, hopefully we'll be able to use horses next season, that'd be really fun. Um, yeah, never running it's not really running it's sort of shulker boxes now, or even beacons. I wish I got into the beacon business earlier, but, um, yeah, that's, that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's let's just have a look around. I mean, Yeti did something over here, if you could tell from last episode. I think it was, a. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, I did that. I don't remember. Actually, I think I did that uh, in a clip, but I didn't put in. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know if there's something meant to be in here, or is it just decoration? Yeah, it's just decoration. Um, let's just continue on. So, this shopping district is insane. Um, yeah, look at this. Just snails everywhere, there's a giant shark, and all this sort of stuff. A fantasy tower, a random bamboo forest. Oh my gosh, and look at. Let's have a look at his base for a second. I think it's Jono's, or. I'll, I'll call him Jono for now. But he has such a really cool village here on this island, it's lovely. Oh my gosh, he has jump boost and everything. No wonder who he got the beacons from. Uh, he doesn't, he didn't have much time to do interior. But uh, yeah, this is, this is really cool. I like to use the moss and everything. 
Oh man, this is so cool to fly around. And this tower too over here. Oh my gosh, that's a really good use of barrels. Wonder if barrels cause lag. I don't think they do. Could be a lot of barrels. I doubt they cause lag. I think it's only a few things that do it. Apparently ghosts cause lag too, so anyway. Well, I'm rambling now. Let's just head back to the base and uh I'll see you there. We're here at the base, which is pretty crazy to say the least. Um, I wish I started work on this earlier again, but again, beggars can't be choosers. People can't always be around. It's okay. It's okay. But I, I've really enjoyed making doing this project and finishing it off in like most of a sense. But I will be honest, I've, I, I did have some plans like for over here. Uh, I did have plans for maybe a statue here. Maybe we can still do that. We can still do this episode. I have no idea what I'm going to build for the statue, but we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I just... It's just been crazy, this experience. I don't know how else to put it. I know that I haven't really done as much work as I wanted to, but... Yeah. I also had a plan for this, too, actually. I do have an idea. Welcome to a sketch of it. Of, clearly I uh, I did more work in the actual world than I did in this world, but... For this little thing here, I was going to do this for Rex. Um, it's not the greatest thing, but I wanted to at least keep the spirit of the building. Um, and see what else I could do with it. It probably needs a little bit more depth over here, or a, an entire rebuild, but... To kind of keep the memory of like the little first shack that I made, I wanted to keep it there. And I did a pearl door. <laughs> uh, I love her. She's lovely. Um, this is yeah. This is what I was gonna put some beacons in there, but uh, didn't you know? Didn't actually go through with that. That's just a block for creative reasons. I'm gonna create a waterfall too, and uh, have this maybe have the statue over here. Um. It looks so, it, it's, it just has this sort of, you know, lived in sort of feeling. There needed to have been more greenery and trees around and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't actually finish the interior and creative, I just winged it in survival. Um, this is, yeah, this is the, this is a copy of the world and yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I was planning on doing. I was also going to build a couple of boats, but um, yeah, I don't have time for that, actually. We'll probably build a statue in that honor. But now let's go back to the original world. And as we are back in the original world, let's just have a look at the rest of the world. Whoa! What was that? I have no idea. But, this is his sky base. Let's have a look around. So, his base, it's very interesting. I have really like this sort of, um, sort of theme he went with, in terms of everything is made from that one water source block. And then he uses water mechanics to just move it around and use it in farms as well. Like, look at this one down here, see where this water goes, it goes into the cactus farm, and then that water in the cactus farm is used as sort of a thing to push the cactus into the collection system. And then he uses this one as an old school sort of wheat farm, and then, yeah, I really like this. This is a great idea, and I don't think I've seen anyone ever do this. I absolutely love it. Good job, Yeti. And I think there's a museum over here. Enter with K. <laughs> well, unfortunately, um, Yeti, I'm just gonna have to... I'm just gonna... You don't have any bins around, so I'm just gonna litter around if that's okay. Um, let's see what he's got, actually. Ender chat. <laughs> okay. Easter egg. Oh, the Easter egg gun. Uh... Oh, that's our articles. Warranty service. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Used wrong pick, lol, Rex. Yeah, gotta, gotta love Rex's character. Um, Yeti's, uh, 
the ostrich destroyed. <laughs> Rusted diamond cap. This is for the chickens. Ah, oh, I love this. And all the racing stuff that he did early on. Phantom membranes. Yeti's glowy membrane collection. Yeti's fossil collection. And every single head on the server for all the heads. His head collection. The beginning of the oh episode twenty. Oh yeah, I don't know how to say it, but yeah. Oh, it shows his progress with the base. That's cool. And I like how his wool farm is. <laughs> I like that a lot. And the dragon eggs here now. Hmm. Nah. A lot of people have ended this series. It's just not fair. <laughs> Furnace is a floor. Again. You know what? It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just kidding around. It's actually quite creative to use Furnace as a floor. Um, yeah. That's, that's good. This is, this is good. I like it. And then maybe, is there any items in here? Oh, whoa. But yeah, Yeti has done an incredible job on his base. As much as, uh, Striker and, well, I would say Brad, but I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure he got someone else to build it for him. Yeah, we'll just uh, head on out and find another person to snoop around. Welcome to Common Virus's base, where he's got a very interesting bee with. Mm. Lips? I don't know. <laughs> and he's got uh, an end ship, but instead of it being end stone, uh, <laughs> it's stone. Uh, and a villager tower with an iron golem in it. Interesting. I like this fountain. That's a cool fountain. Oh, what the? Okay, alright. Does it have a name? No, it doesn't. The road. This must take in a lot of concrete too. Uh, I'm not a fan of using concrete, but I'll have to use it eventually. What is this? I may have pranked you and it may have gone horribly. I may have lost 27 diamond blocks. I'm super sorry. I'm currently trying to get them all back. Please don't be mad. I'll still build the tree if I'm not banished. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he found the 27 diamond blocks. Flying chickens, flying people, skeleton horses, you know, just the usual. I know that Striker has been incredibly busy with work, so he hasn't had a chance to grab this beautiful box that I laid out for him, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, that's all the way from the Wither farm that I was making. With the skeleton farm, which we will make again. Because, you know, I like doing that sort of stuff. Whoa, this base is insane. A lot of concrete. A lot of concrete. Oh, I like that too. I think this stuff is new as well. I like this. I like how he's got this um sort of key looking stuff around as well. Makes it look more of a... Looks like more of a city... A lived-in city. It's really good attention to detail. Must have spent a lot of time on this too. Facing all of that and the whatever is under the carpet. I think it's actually sea lanterns. Oh. And there's another one over here. <laughs> is there another sign here? No? Okay. I like how they've downgraded- Oh, I like how they downgraded themselves in terms of using the materials. Because <laughs> they used a lot of iron and gold for mine. That was really funny. Alright, I believe this is an Octifier's base. I pranked this base. I didn't get any sort of retaliation onto me, which is pretty funny. Ladder of many climbs and friendship. Uh... 
let's go see. Oh yeah, she took it down. <laughs> she took down my diorite salt shaker. Really, really good use of farm area though. I really like that design. But it seems that as with all things, and let me just perch on top of this tree. So the thing is, with all of this, it is actually very difficult to do these sorts of videos in terms of the quality that I want to put it out. And put out, well, in terms of quality, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. I know I could do so much better with these videos, you know, with Replay Mod and such. You know, as a filmmaker, I know a lot of techniques that I have even employed myself, and as a sound designer, that I have employed myself. Um, and I hope next season that I could show that off a lot more with different pieces of music in the background, different skin? Question mark. Um, I. <laughs> fun fact: I actually did make the skin sort of myself. By sort of, I mean I used a. Uh, a reference image and someone who did a similar skin avatar one from uh, legend of korra he i don't know i love i love the episodes i think it's beginnings part one and part two in korra season two and it was i don't know i love that art style and i love that sort of storytelling it was so beautiful and i wanted to use this as a skin for me so, like, kind of like Exumo and Doom Guy and Etho, and I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know, I think it's a character from, I don't want to say it, I'm probably wrong, but it's definitely a character from an anime. And, yeah, I, I think this will be my go-to skin, or default skin, and it's fine, it's fine. I shouldn't really think about it too much. I've just been thinking a lot about creating content and what sort of content that I want to bring out and stand out from the crowd because that's that's the whole point what's the point of watching me when you can watch someone else do it better that's 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 the thing but at the same time I want to do this for myself I want to do this because I enjoy it and I do enjoy doing it <laughs> contrary to my um very rough upload schedule <laughs> And going from, you know, a couple of week to a couple of months to once a month to once every two months. And that's mostly because of time and also procrastination. I just want to play some other games sometimes and that's, that's just the deal of it. <laughs> but I do want to take it seriously next season. I don't know if this is going to age well or terribly. Um, but... One thing is for sure, I'm going to keep going for as long as I can and do the best that I can to bring out some quality content and content that stands me apart from the crowd. I'm not the best person for this because I've only not been doing this that much and... <laughs> Thanks, Cal. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, things just don't always get to be finished when you just don't have the time, whether you have school, uni, or for the same thing, I trust. Whether you have, well, you know what I mean, whether you have high school, you have university, or you have work, which I do now again as well, and when you're trying to figure out stuff for yourself in life, and there's still a lot for me to do. And I may only be 24, playing a block game with a bunch of people that have no idea either, probably. <laughs> a couple of people that have been in the military, and... <laughs> oh man, I... I don't know if I'm ever out of my depth, but uh, I know I will continue to do my best. And do my best that I shall. Anyway, um, enough rambling. I've probably got more rambling to do for the rest of the episode. But this, this is kind of the same thing, the same situation as me. I have a feeling that Noctify, you can tell that this base, you, with all the other, with the other two bases, the other bases as well, 
They had so much planned set out, but they just didn't have the time to get it done. And that is just the reality of it in Minecraft. How many bases have you actually completed in, you know, in Minecraft? You know, it's it's crazy. Lots of plans you have that you just you just can't get done. And honestly, think about the amount of bases that I have no idea where I don't know how to get home. Think about the amount of bases out there, or amount of Minecraft saves in the world that will never get finished. They have wolves sitting there by the door, by the bed, and it's just... They will never see them again! <laughs> no. Um, that is a really sad thought. That is a really sad thought. Even a virtual pet. I don't even think I've tamed a wolf this... Oh no, I have, I have. But you get what I mean. For example, I had this plan of a nether tunnel going here. I was going to build it. I had plans to do it in like a couple of episodes ago, but I just didn't have the time to put it in the episode too. But damn, it is very difficult. Nothing worth doing ever comes easy, folks. Keep that in mind. Nothing worth doing ever comes easy. You always have to work for what you want to do. Or, well, similar. You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Just, if you're watching this and you have no idea what you want to do, you know, in the future, five, ten years time, don't be afraid. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in their 40s still don't. And uh, that's a quote. Well, that's a loose quote from uh, Everybody's Free West on screen. That's actually my favorite video on YouTube. I'll actually see if I remember to put a link in the description. It's a really, really beautiful video, a really beautiful song. Technically a song. But, um, mostly a speech. I call it a spe musical speech. <laughs> anyway, uh, is there any other bases that we should see before we go? I just... It's really hard remembering all the people on the server that have a base. I think this is one of them, actually. Uh, whose base is this? I can't tell. Uh, we'll just go through the portal. Whoa. <laughs> so this is someone's base. Whoa. This is cool as- Oh, that's cool! Oh! I don't know whose base this is, but whoever you are. This is really good. I really like it. Whoa, I think this might be KB or Lowy. It had to have been. KB or Lowy. I actually have trouble distinguishing the two to me. Really cool base, by the way. I think I'll be able to find out at the end of this tunnel. If my rocket wants to... Aha! Lowy! Yeah. Yeah, I see it now. What is this? This looks like a chunk logo. I think I'm breaking something when I go through this. Yes, this is a chunk logo. Oh, here we go, yep. Yeah. Really cool building. Really cool building. I really like this. Just the use of end stone. Whoa! And then the red block. Thank you. No, I'm kidding. End of season one. All good things to a all good things to an end. Been a heck of a ride. Ride boss. Ride items. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. He's put all of his items for all that here. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's that's a diamond mountain. That's for sure. Damn. As this episode does come to an end, I realize that, uh, honestly, this can be the statue. This is the statue. We worship the chicken god. These Vikings worship the chicken god. And I would like to thank Common for this beautiful construction over here. Chickens. Gosh. You know how good, good, you know how good chickens taste? You know? Come on. Come on. 
And as Brad did put it, good things, all good things must come to an end. And as though we may not have all finished our plans for this season, I think that's okay. A lot of a lot of the a lot of them actually only came towards the end of the season, and I think Johnny was the only one that was closest to finish <laughs> finishing this base, if anything. Um and yeah, honestly, I know that this is it doesn't appear finished, but to me, I, I'm proud of it. And I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss this Viking village. And I will do what Brad has done. I'm going to empty out my ender chest and I'm going to put everything away. Oh, by the way, uh, I think Brad won. I'm not entirely sure, but um, in terms of total time, uh, so yeah, well, that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I do have a plan for that. It has been, it has been fun, and now that we have everything out of our inventory, out of our well, actually, there's two things left in my inventory. Um, there is one more place that I need to go. And now that everything is on the table, it is now time to <laughs> reveal, well that's really close, what I'm going to do for the winner. So I'm going to go get on my boat and thank you all so much for watching. It's time to set sail. Zombie. Zombie? Are you okay? Wait, what? Zombie, are you okay? What? <laughs> oh. oh, bye. Uh, well, yep. And as we set sail to the next adventure, I would like to once again thank you all for so uh, thank you all so much for watching. It has been great, and yeah, I appreciate you. I want you guys to look after yourselves and stay hydrated. And for Brad, the winner, well, first, second, and third. I mean, it's technically everyone. So I want to talk about it. I I've got plans, and those sort of plans is I'm going to make another course. I'm going to make another Elytra course for next season. Well then, and decide once and for all who is the Elytra Master. Not just for them though, anyone can join next season. Uh, it'll be at some point next season, the Elytra Flying Course, but we'll see. That is the uh, the prize. They get another flying course to test their abilities. How is that? And yeah, uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys for trying out the course and appreciate you guys for uh, having fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next season of Infinite Realms. It's a new realm, everyone. And I'm looking forward to season uh, season two and version 1.18. I've got more wisdom to dispense. And for now, I'm signing off. Um, nah. It's probably just my head. It's fine. I'll see you guys next season, everyone. Take care. Bye.